As an example of a two-factor ANOVA, we are going to look at an imaginary experiment. This is an experiment that you could actually carry out. However, the data that we are using this example are actually made up data. In this type of experiment, it is what we call a full factorial experiment. That means that for each of the factors that we have, we have every combination of level that you can have between those two factors. In the example that we are looking at here, the experiment involves testing the effect of soap on bacteria on people's hands and also testing the effect of triclosan, which is an antimicrobial agent. For both of these factors, we can have it present or absent. So the combinations that we can have is that particular trials can have soap and microbial agents. They can have antimicrobial agents without soap, soap without antimicrobial agents, or neither one. So we have essentially set up a grid here where we have every combination of the levels for these two factors. The two factors are considered to be independent variables. That is, they are both things that we can control. Another term for this is fixed effects. A fixed effect is one where the experimenter fixes the state of that factor as opposed to having that state be determined randomly and having us just recording what that state is. This is actually what happens in a randomized controlled trial where we assign treatments to the trials and control what the state of their levels are for each factor. Let's take a look at how we would set up the data for an experiment like this with two factors. We have two columns of grouping variables. Each of those columns is a factor in the terminology of R and in the experimental design terminology. So in the first column, soap can have a value of yes or no. In the second column, triclosan can have a value of yes or no. And we have every permutation of those two, soap yes, triclosan yes, soap yes, triclosan no, soap no, triclosan yes, soap no, triclosan no. The counts column over here is the dependent variable or y. I mentioned the term balance design. That means that each combination of levels has the same number. So in this table, we can see that each combination of soap and triclosan has five values. And so this is what we would call a balance design.